efekt zależy jak będzie daleko, nie? Dzień dobry.
everyone, good evening. Welcome to the Halle Azotti here in southern Poland. We're in Eastern Europe for the crucial second leg of this CV Champions League Volley 2021 semi final as Grupa Azotti Kenshishin Kozla hosts six time winner Zenit Kazan. Well, what a first leg it was in Russia six days ago. Zenit Kazan were 2 0 up and had a total of five match points before losing in a tiebreaker fifth set. So it's still all to play for here tonight as Zaxa look to reach the final of the competition for the first time in their history. What they do know is that they only need three sets to advance to the final in Verona on the 1st of May. It is just about time to meet the two teams here. Both back in playoff action in their domestic league since the first leg last week. And both winners as well. We will find out the starting sixes momentarily. As the two sides are introduced here. Quite the different atmosphere though to this time uh, six days ago because there were plenty of fans in Kazan but this is played in front of an empty arena so not quite the same home advantage as the Russians had last week high five from Nikola Gurbic to his men of course a former Zenit Kazan player in fourth in this competition, under that man to the right of your picture there, Vladimir Alekno. The two referees for this one, Vlastimil Kovar from Czech Republic and Zolt Mezufi from Hungary. Be plenty of nerves out there now with the sound of the Champions League anthem. It is nearly game time here in Poland. Let's see who Alekno has selected to start the game here. He did bounce back to win in the league on Sunday. 3-0 against Krasnoyarsk. Slight hold up here, but we will be getting underway very shortly. Artin Mikhailov, Artin Volvic. So many talented players in this Zenit side. They're going to have to do it the hard way. And Volvic is the first man to take his place on the court. Alexander Volkov as well, the number seven. Levin Ingapet, always starting for Zenit, such a crucial player. And the team features two liberos as well. So there we go, Alexander Budko in as well as Bartosz Bednos, who was named in the Poland squad today for the upcoming Nations League matches. for the home side looks like it pretty much is the same team as last week Vladimir Lechno will have been so angry at his side last week for letting that two set lead slip they had five match points as well they could have done it easily Vladimir Gerbic uh, Nikola Gerbic's side I beg your pardon fought back well and managed to take it in five
All smiles before. How is this one going to end up? Zenit are going to get us underway here. They're in the sky blue. Zaxa in the white. Here we go. The second leg of the Champions League semi-final here in Poland. Ngapets puts it in the middle there and finds the gap to get Zenit off and running. Beyond the reach there of Kamil Semenyuk. start here as it was last week Zenit arrived in Poland on Monday had a bit of time to acclimatize not too far away from Katowice here where many of the players will have played before but somewhat out in the sticks this particular arena Zenit with a 3-1 lead here early on Kochanowski there, who was so crucial in that comeback last week. One of five players from the Zaxa squad named in the Poland national team today by Vital Einen. And of course, his Perugia side in Champions League action later as they take on Trentino in their second leg. 3-0 down from the first. Serve. The left hand side have reached the last four. Nine of the last ten seasons. Have had a completed Champions League, of course, it was curtailed last year when they actually went out to the group stage. First ever time they've been eliminated at that point in the competition. Tonuti is the setter in the side, a former Zenit Kazan player. There is no atmosphere here to speak of this evening. It would have been bouncing for a tie like this. Not the biggest of arenas by European volleyball standards, but they certainly get behind their side. Yeah. <laughs> 
That was a big, big hit there. Take a touch, it's a point for Zaxa, just one in it at the moment. In the first set of this second leg. Far away though from catching the fingertips there, Semenyuk one of the blockers. And Gapet and Co. wait. Straight back into Zaxa territory, Zatorski the libero. And Zenit get the point, quick reactions there. Too quick for Wukash Kashmarek. What's Nikola Gurbic asking here? They've got the point, but the challenge ongoing. A shake of the head from the second referee from Hungary. Point stands here for Zenit Kazan. Concerned through Artem Volvic. The giant in this side, 213 centimetres tall. And Gapet right on the net. And in the end, it was a fine set. Just lifted it into a great area there. Three-point lead at 8-5. Goes up to 9-5 now. The Russians on top. And as a result, we get the first timeout of the evening called here by Nikola Gerbic. Aggressive, says Gerbic. They possess at the net is something else. Mikhailov, Volvic all there. Lekno peering on from behind, not a man you want to upset. We recommence here with Volvic's serve, his run continues. Then its point scoring run ends right there. There by the American David Smith. A serve here for Kamel Semenyuk. Top scorer in the Champions League this season for Zaxa. 132 points he's amassed coming into this game. Mikhailov hasn't done bad himself. A solid 103 for him. He made it triple figures last week in the first leg. It's the hand of Smith there. Kind of serve. Oh, it's an ace. Satorski went down but couldn't keep it alive. Eleven six is a healthy lead at this stage. We're kind of going again, and this time Zatorski is there. And 
Slivka wins the points. One of those five players to be called up today by Einan. The game's in the second half of April. Ahead of the Champions League final, as you can see at the top of your screen. The 1st of May, it is in Verona, both the men's and women's competitions in northern Italy. Kailov coming through. Doing very well for his side, and again, Zenit in the ascendancy here. Their nine Champions League defeats, six of them have come against Polish opposition over the years, including that one last week. They are generally their weak point. One off Inga Petz into the press area. Golubev chasing after it, but the ball had long since gone. Kailov extending that arm of his again. This is Zenit Kazan. Off the man they call Simon. Budko, the setter there at the net. It's another point here for the Russian side. Actually, didn't win their league title last year. They actually came second behind Lokomotiv Novosibirsk. going down there to no avail we have another timeout you see the split of the points Right hand of the outside hitter is what Gerbridge wants. That's the weakness he sees. Another point though for Zenit Kazan and the very driven Artem Volvic. What a block. Didn't even really need to get off the ground, he's that high. A really poor serve there from Volkov. He's going to get back down to six, but. Sacks are going to have to go on a pretty good run here to Bridget at this point. <laughs> so with some pace there, and Gapet tried to pop it down. He goes up for the block there, and it's he who makes the contact. There by Slivka. Championship winner with Poland a few years ago. We're hoping for more success on the international stage in the months to come. And 
Kapets there to receive. Mikhailov, the opposite there to hit it. Just have to have a bit of a check there with the referee. Point given. 17-10 the lead. Uh, running away with this first set now. Levine Pets. Zatorski back in. Over from Semenyuk. Ngapets. It's working pretty well right now for Zenit Kazan. 18-10. In the first leg, the biggest gap we had in terms of points at the end of a set was three, but it looks like it's going to be a lot more than that here. But a slight reprieve here for the host, thanks to Semenyu. Battle at the net, won by Zaxa. And it was Smith who got to it. Still a gap of six should be enough at this stage, but you never quite know. We saw some well, incredible comebacks in the first leg last week. Hold off the block. Smith trying to knock himself into shape there. Prokopchuk coming on. Volvic there taking a break, it is. Mashevsky, who we saw plenty of in the first leg coming on here. And so, like, no switches things up. An easy point there. Well worked and well put away by Smith. Well, they back on. So, Mashevsky's spell didn't last long. Switch though for the Libero. Good serve from Semenyuk there. Not one of his finest. As it takes Kazan to 20. Mikhailov primed and ready here. Five time winner of this competition. He is Mr. Champions League. Zaxa just clawing a point or two back here. That's enough the net and out there from Smith. Pushes Kazan. It's a great climb there from Klute. Really 
joined from a side in Verona last summer. Who would like to go back to that fine city this year in a Champions League final? Tanuti. Had a very short spell with Kazan. They couldn't register him for Champions League volleyball and so left almost immediately after playing just a handful of games domestically. Wow. Incredible power coming through there. Semenyuk here positioning himself well. Just the ball and over Kochanovsky. He arrived to stunning effect. Poor serve. Kazan need one more here to, to set point. Good serve, a very good serve, an ace there from Budko. Thirty-five now, packs plenty of experience and plenty of punch in that serve as well. Went up, they'll try from the right instead. Golubev got down well, Mikhailov, Zatorsky there to the rescue. And eventually put away by Semenyuk again. Set point here, Kazan. And that one goes out. It's a point to Kazan and the first set to Kazan. 25 17, they made it look so easy. An even start, but they got their lead after passing 10. And after that, they just saw themselves through. There's 22 minutes to get themselves back on track, having lost the first leg. They are one set up in the second. The second set coming up here in just a few moments' time. Don't go anywhere.
Welcome back here to Poland and the Hala Azoti, where Zenit Kazan have taken the first set of this second leg. Zaks are three two winners in the first in Russia. They haven't made a particularly good start here. Inga Pet. Bounding off the net there from Tonuti. Has to go over. Alekna Ale watching on as Inga Pet comes in, but. in progress here doesn't look like it's going to last too long Mikhailov getting Zenin off the mark Evin and Gapep was the top scorer in that first set with six points Bednosh and Mikhailov five apiece Slivka, Semenyuk and Smith top scoring for the home side with three each. <laughs> themselves ahead again. Both of these sides came through the group stage unscathed. Six wins out of six in the two mini tournaments. Indeed, both hosted one of them as well. Gapet rolling off the tape. There's a touch there of Kashmarek at the bottom of your screen. There might not be any fans here, but certainly someone's making plenty of noise in this arena. Out there off the Frenchman. So Zach's 3-2 uh, up. Kochanowski serve. Mikhailov off the left. Rising to devastating effect again for Zenit Kazan. Heading into his 30s now, and Gapet, one of the stars of the last decade. All of that down well. Hit by Bednosh. So called up today. Great surprise. Smith enjoying the start of this second set. As his side win that point. a two-point lead now as they try and fight back after disappointment a few minutes ago going down in that first set by 25 points to 17. Lukas Kaczmarek, the 26-year-old. There's Mikhailov, but out of play it goes.
home side serve, but an error there by Kashmalek, costing his side. Clear on the video replay. Volvic. That one over there. Sent straight back by Kashmalek. Slightly there. I think he's going to have one strained voice by the end of the night if he keeps going. Mikhailov with an ace. Had a few of those tonight already. Is being challenged. Lost the ball in outs. Very quick check. My Hungar Hungarian second referee. And the ball was out. So a good challenge. That's what the system's there for. There was Bednosh. Sort have responded in a good manner, though. 8 6 up here in the second set. And they just need to win this one 3 1 to advance to the final for the first time in the club's history. Their first loss in ten matches. In the first leg, Zenit. Golubev forward. And Gapets. Out. It's not happening for him right now. Simply done. By Volkov there. And the second Zenit he's played for. Just to build the books of St. Petersburg. Joining from Dinamo LO ahead of this season. There, Slivka this time. <laughs> in quite a tight, wide position there, and hanging it off the groin there of Volkov could have been a painful one. Zach is turning this set to take a considerable lead at 11 7. Gapet. Doing what he does best. Tax 
so they're maintaining that four point lead. No pondering his next move here. Tonuti. He kept in just there. Really well done by Mikhailov. Hit by Gapet. And Gapet side. Get the points. After a touch on the net as the block came down. Frenchman feeling the heat and composing himself here. Huge serve. Tanuti's reverse. And the point won by Kashmalek. Found the gap there just to Golubev's right. Slightly wrong footed there, the Libero. Trading points here, but if they can extend it further, it'll do them well. And things are going all right here at the moment for Nikola Gerbic's side. Zenit as that one catches the net, but messed up in the end by Bartosz Bednos. And we have a timeout here. You see Zaxa winning four of the last five points and five of the last seven. This set from the likes of Ngapet and Mikhailov. In the ideal return to the court for Alekno, great replay there. Chance here for Zaxa to perfectly craft their move and they. I'm able to take advantage through Smith. It's uh, straight through, but out. Saks are now in a pretty similar position to what Kazan were in in the first set. Volvikov here. Sumachevsky comes on again. Came through the academy of the club. He's Zenit Kazan through and through. They're getting into the rhythm they found towards the end of that first leg last week. Oh, 
was a powerful serve. Mikhailov. The leading scorer for Zenit in the Champions League this season. He also collected the most points for his side last term when he got 116. And you would imagine by the end of this match, no matter what happens, he'll eclipse that total. looking good seven point lead here this match has taken another swing as it did last week Zene Kazan could have finished it in three sets when they had five match points despite the fact they had a hall full of their own supporters couldn't take advantage Zaxa did and Zaxa are in this second set Ronkov on here as Bednos takes a break. Ronkov's sister Irina actually had two spells with Dinamo Kazan from 2011 to 14 and 2016 to 18. Family that the club, both the men's and women's division, knows well. Six points required here for Zaxa, but it's a Kazan serve. Down to five. Zimchenok coming on. Mikhailov off, as well as Budka. Zimchenok, another experienced player at the age of 33. And reserve setter Laurent and Lethno coming on as well. Son of the gaffer. Out of and Gapets. I think Kazan are going to have to write off this second set. They're not going to come back from this now. Gapets off the block. And he just rebounded down onto the top of the net as well. Man loves to play against the opposition physically as well as mentally. Fine play there from Kochanowski. Oh, that's the perfection there as he watched it all the way. And Zach's are three points away now. has been a fine response here but Kazan has been led back into this one ever so slightly so I'm going to check over the stats there Gerbic Lokonovsky there again First year with the club having joined from Skra Buhatov down the road from Vuj. Oh. 
Just the 23-year-old to serve, perhaps to see out this set. One left no there, and Gapet has to put it over. The arms of Zemchenok. Down it goes. And Zaksa have the set point in the end, and plenty of them as well. Lukas Kashmarek was there. Set point here for Zaksa. Can they do it first time? Not yet. Kazan doing nothing more than adding some respectability to this second set score line. That's it. Kachmanek has done it for Zaksa. The first of three sets required tonight has been won at the second time of asking. The teams will swap round here. Kazan taking the first 25-17. A slightly quicker second set, 25-16 in Zaksa's favour. 1-1 on the night. Next set is massive. Who's going to give themselves the momentum ahead of the fourth set here? We shall see. Set number three coming up in a few minutes' time.
Reminder that three sets is what's required here for Zaxis to progress, having won in five last week. Well placed there by Kamil Semenyuk. Love hitting that one. Keep getting after it, but it's only the laptops that are under threat there in the end. Kashmirek and Ngapet are the joint top scorers in the match now, nine points apiece. There, wearing 13, unlucky for some. Looks out most of the time for Zaxa. We actually had Buhatov in their group as well in the pool stage. Fenevace and Lindemann's Alst of Belgium. We had the opposite record of Zaxa. Lindemann's losing all six of their games. Then Cucine Lube Civitanova for Zaxa in the quarterfinals, who they came through against after a golden set. Then Kazan getting to this point by beating Skra. They won both of those matches, so be it, the second leg was in a tie break. Kailov hit that one, he got a touch off the block as well. 4-4. Four, four. Situation there for David Smith. They don't want this match to veer away from them again. As it looked like it may well do after the first set. that have been done with pretty quickly so far off the hand there of Mikhailov <laughs> Gapet there to receive Budko and it was Volkov From Semenyuk moving a bit in the air there. He did well to deal with it, Zenit Kazan. Lechno on the far side giving his seal of approval as well. Satorsky was behind that one initially. And eventually the point one there by Kashmirek. Our side there and rising was Bartosz Bednorsz. Uh, 
his look will tell you all you need to know about how it ended up for his side. Smith serve. It is long. Is it long? No, he's dropped in. It's an ace. Well, he thought it had gone. Approval given in the end. Right down on the line. And two back, serving here through Bednosh. Still pretty close here in this third set here of this second leg in the Champions League semi-final. Little pulled here by Rekno. Uko times it well to Ngapet, but it's Zax's point. going to see a similar pattern to that first leg where Zenit had that two set lead before throwing it away they had a one set lead here tonight but now Zaxa well and truly in the ascendancy Gapet so point for Zaxa No calling a timeout. Three points in a row, seven points of the last nine. Point so far tonight for Wilkos Kashmarek. A solid showing from him. So he heads towards 140 points for the Champions League this season. And that is an ace for the Polish side. The moment look as though they're going to dump out serial winners of this competition Zenit Kazan and head to the final for the first time themselves where they'll be favourites to play Trentino after the Italian side won the first leg against rivals Perugia even more impressive that they came from the first round of the competition into how things worked out this season with various teams in and out some nations being given an extra place. Slip to serve, as you can see, right on the line. The challenge is in progress.
And the ball was out. Fighting the call. You can see it on the big screen in the far corner of the arena here. That's a point to Kazan instead. Now Kochnowski. Semenyuk who tried his luck and Gapet will do the same. Got a touch on the way through. Yeah, that's right arm there. That's better from Kashmirek. To need to keep performing here if they're to one win this match and two go and succeed in Verona. Budko going left to Mikhailov. Semenyuk again. Some lead they have now. The six time winners of this competition. First winning it back in 2008, 2012, 2015, 16, 17, and 18. 2019 beaten in the final. Of course, it was the most successful than last season. Nor any team in the end, as it turned out to be. Voronkov coming on here for Bednosh. Is this slipping away from Zenit Kazan? Is their run going to end here? They've been on a really good winning run, Zenit, before that defeat last week. Nine in a row. We've been beaten for the second time in three matches here. They're not giving it up yet. Studious man, Nikola Kurbic. the Champions League winner himself he knows what it feels like he knows what it takes again his zaps aside here looking like at the moment they're going to be the side to progress There's still another big set to come Volvic that time. Mistakeable figure on any volleyball court. <laughs> Takes a break here as Samachevsky comes back in. Waiting to serve as well. Bednosh watching on. Donuti 
Semenyuk. Wow. Terrific stuff there from Slivka. 18-12 now to Zaksa. Straight down in front of Ngapet. Introduced here. Zenit. <laughs> to switch back here. Zaksa with a five point lead at 18 13. Mikhailov serve. Gapet. That one out. Alekno challenging the call here. out and quite clearly be on the line emotional players out there right now big stakes in Champions League volleyball and you can get involved on social media hashtag CL Volley M So looking to break the 20 mark here. Kazan trying to claw some points back. Got a bit forward. Budko and Gapets. Starting to look a bit more back on track. Here's Zenit Kazan. Kept away from the scorers there by Slivka. Ngapet. Oh, hammers it, I think, off the head there of Slivka. Now, suddenly the lead is only at three. Straight down, and Zaxa do eventually get point number 20. The match between Sosakoma Monini Perugia and Trentino Itas is getting underway in just over an hour's time. 
You can watch that one on Eurovolley.tv. Only three points between the sides here. It's set a lot closer than it looked like it was going to be maybe 10 minutes or so ago. Kochanowski pops up when it matters. Serve straight out. Zach serve three points away here from the third set. Kochanowski with the serve here. Good co sets here for Volvic. Kochanowski keeping it in there. Kaczmarek attacked it. Zenit claiming their point, but Zaxa have been given it here. Right down on the line. Jakub Kochanowski again. Oko short there for Volvic. Semenyuk, great block, terrific block from Volvic. <laughs> and the pets fearsome serve. That will drop there for Mikhailov. Out. It goes from... Left on side and Zaxa. Set point again here. As the head coach dries himself off. On a sweaty night under the lights. First chance is gone. Volvic serve has to be good. Piece of reception there wasn't great. Gave Zenit the chance there. Chipping away the lead here. That's another set point gone. Volkov that time. We have a timeout here at a crucial point in this set. There and Mikhailov along with Ngapet. The trio. Still set point here to Zaxa. Yes, 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 yes. 
this time they are able to get it right as it drops down in front there of Budko. And finally, the two teams do swap sides. Zaksa have hit back. They lost the first set, but they took the second and they've now taken the third, 25-21. They are one set away from the Champions League final in Verona. The crucial fourth set coming up here in this Champions League semi-final second leg between Zaksa and Zenit Kazan. Zenit took the first but have lost two since. And Zaksa know if they win this set, not only have they won on the night, they've won the tie and are through to the final in Italy. Game face is on. Zaksa restarters here, they're in the white, uh, Zenit's in the blue if you are just joining us this evening. They got underway an hour and 20 minutes ago. High octane stuff so far and Slivka there getting Zaksa off to the perfect start in the fourth set. Pets just lifting that one over into the gap. Great hands, took a touch off Kashmadek. Nice watching on from further back now. A good block there. Teams trading points fairly evenly in that last set before Saxo went on a bit of a scoring run in the teens.
Schneck leading the point scoring in the match at the moment with 14. Inga Pet going down to celebrate. Surface might need wiping. Two two on the score line. Zach to get lucky as that one cannons into the net. A bad one. And Gapet with 14 points so far. Tanuti. And for Kashmarek. Well, the combination coming into effect again there. Delicate touch there from Simachevsky. Uh, Veronkov, I beg your pardon, sorry, number two. And awareness, Satorsky couldn't get there quick enough. And 30 now, the libero of the national team, or one of them. 31 in June. Backwards there of Volkov. Here is Zatorski. Tonuti. Out off the block. It was well washed out there as well by Kashmanek. This is the third time the two sides have met in their history. Of course, met last week in the first leg. Before that, you have to go back to the third place playoff back in 2013. This is the third time as well that Zenit have come up against a Polish side at the semi final stage. This is their fifth semi-final for Zaksa. They've lost all previous attempts against Olympiakos back in 2002, Casa Modena in 2003, Cuneo in 2013 and Lube most recently in 2018. Is this going to be a historic moment for the club? Took a while to watch that one drop down. Far off the roof. Voronkov. Tonuti. Has to readjust. And out it goes. From Slivka.
Gerbic up against his old coach. And the card has been shown here. And caution for Nikola Gerbic. For his behaviour on the touchline. Huge spike there and huge kill as well from Smith. Lux only have a one point lead here. And now they don't have a lead at all. going to go to a tiebreaker as it did last week we shall see how much to pick between them in this set yet there's another point though for Slivka left hand of his used to devastating effect again <laughs> look at his expression Pumped up players on display tonight. Some of space there that time for Voronkov. Right the way through. And the block couldn't get in front. Level pegging though. Slivka will take this serve here for Zaxa, as they're commonly known. Gapet improvising. Zaks is scoring. Semenyuk. He has been a big, big player tonight for Zaksa. Gaped from deep. Tonuti controlling. Semenyuk off the left hand side again, but it's Kazan's point. Mirbic's side so close to victory. A monumental one. Not only for he, but his club as well. Pets. Up 
against Kasparek there. Winner as he made contact with both hands simultaneously. Ochanovsky for Zaksa. Caught it nicely there. He swept across the ball to bring it down. Training goes on. And Capet serve. No half measures from him as ever. Semenyuk. Serve here to be taken by Kashmarek. And straight through for an ace. That's the kind of magic they need. We have a timeout here as well. In between Golubev and Ngapet. 116 kilometers per hour. Zaksa with a point lead, evaporating in an instant. Zimachevsky for Volvic. to be at a premium now for both sides we are getting into the business point of this tie in the Champions League long from Simachevsky Now trying to get his message across here to Volvic. Zaksa now with a three point lead. And that extended as well. And this is the point where Kazan cave in. Semenyuk serve. And straight to the die. Hammers it into the net this time. And punished by Mikhailov. Mm -hmm. 
Just slipping away from Zaka there to really get themselves into a commanding position. So a two-point lead, which may be enough. Oh, that's fantastic play. Voronkov recovered to keep the ball alive and then retook it after the set. out Stivka again doing the damage on that side and having the end off Volkov the middle of the three Kanuti, Kohanovsky, you just get the feeling this is Zaxxas now. Lamour toujours belts around in the background. Those watching of a Zaxxas persuasion across Poland and around the world will be feeling... This is now theirs to lose. And that's a slip. And what they could do without. serve careers out of play is this to be the end of the road for Zenit Kazan for another Champions League season and by their high standards won't have won the competition in four years by the time they get the chance to win it next and there's another point back for them Serve will help Zaxa. Urko Zera. There will be some big celebrations in this place if they can get another five points. Kochanowski. Mikhailov. Putting that one out. Another step closer. Up there by Volvic. He's now back in the mix. Mikhailov. To restart his run there, but was in the right place at the right time to dispatch. Twenty-one nineteen, and the ball presented back here to Zenit. 
Zatorski. Kaczmarek into the net. And there's a timeout called here by Gerbich. Crunch time in this Champions League semi. The second leg. Zach's a 3 2 winners in the first. Two sets to one up here and 21 20 up. They were. But Irving Ingaper has just had his say. Sent in Slivka's direction and he couldn't prevent it travelling further. Zatorski getting there first. Semenyuk there has a smile across his face. He nudges them in the right direction. Trajectory on that hit, Tonuti makes way as Kluth comes in. Extra height in there. And we have another timeout. Twenty-two, twenty-one. Zach's at three points from Verona. Kasparek serve. That's a great block. The two of them up there. And it really was a monster block. And David Smith angling his body to perfection. <laughs> the serve lets Zenny back in. What's going through his mind right now? Two back for Tonuti. serve needs to be safe to some degree here a chance for Zaxa to move to match points but no they can't challenge Ball was out. So, Zenit have the point. Time out again here. 
called by Gerbic. So Kazan with five of the last seven points. know how close they are here, Zaksa, but Zenit Kazan are not going to make it easy for them. Of course, if it was to go to five, Zenit would have to win it in five, and then it would go to a golden set. Could really be in for some drama. Just kept in and got pets. Voronkov, and now Zaksa have their opportunity. Thanks to that man again, David Smith, who's had a great evening. He and Semenya have been immense. And a chance now for the first time for Grupa Azotti, Kenji Shinkusla to make history. Tonuti. Gapek coming from nowhere. Here they go. And Zenit Kazan keep it going a while yet. 24 20. Set it up again here, Zaksa. First setback for them. Zenit had five match points last week and they've just given Zaksa another here. Thanks to Mikhailov's failed serve. Smith serve. Mikhailov. The block will take it well out. Again, Kazan keep it alive. Torsi got to it. And they will have another match point here. 26 25, they are up. Out of Volkov. The block this time, it isn't going to drop yet. Golubev back from Gapet. He manages to sink it down. Not tight enough to the net there. Tonuti. Coming through, that will carry. Third match point. Once again, Kamel Semenyuk. They know they're fighting a losing battle here, Zenit Kazan. Mikhailov 
it will not end. Kasmarek. Semenyuk. It's the same old pattern. And the Lekno not happy. challenge here but he seems to be getting the opportunity to do so now it's being checked Clear touch on the net, no doubt about that. So, match point, Zaxa again. For the fourth time. Jakub Kochanowski serve. Again it goes. One heading for the 30s. They have them pegged here. Zenit unable to get two points in a row themselves. And that's an ace from Gapet. Now they do. And they have set point. Zenit Kazan. Okay, two aces in a row. And Zenit Kazan, would you believe it, have done it? Deja vu from last week. Incredible fight back and great mental resolve from the Russian team. And this one, just like last week, is going to go the distance. Two sets apiece. This one will be done in a tiebreaker fifth to see whether we go to a golden set or not. What a climax this match. The fifth set coming up in a couple of minutes' time.
clock and back here as you can see from the scoreline in the graphic at the bottom of your screen two sets apiece here that's quite the set in the fourth there by my count four match points went for Zaksa that they couldn't win and in the end Ngapet's ace set up a set point of their own they took it and we go into the tiebreaker fifth Kashmanek to serve first here, best of 15, or first of 15 with a gap of two. If Zaksa win it, they go through. If Zenit win it, we have a golden set after that. It's Mikhailov who gives his side the perfect start. Zenit who gave away all those match points last week. Zax has turned this off Mikhailov there and will be retrieved. Into Zaksa territory. They're in the white, remember. Ngapet. Out off the block. Well His fellow countryman, Tonuti. Long for Budka. Smith, sir. for power this time. Gapet <laughs> composing himself here, his side lead by one. And through there, Kashmanek. What a climb from him. <laughs> was Volvic there, but out from the number four. for everyone watching here and around the world Europe's Premier Club competition Still smile, there is nothing in it here. And 
Stivka going up. And a point for Zaksa. An apology from Voronkov. As he came down, there was quite a significant touch on the net. Mikhailov. Back and forth here between Zaksa and Zenit. Kind <laughs> of serving now. And it goes out off him. He gets the last touch. Easy there for Smith, who watched it drop down nicely. Two-point lead for Zaxa. Zaks is still ahead here. Yeah. Side from Kenji Jinkosla trying to write history for their club against the might of Zenit Kazan. Kashmanek gets another. Keep the heads at this point. Nineteen points for Kasmerek tonight, taking him on to 142 for the Champions League season. Cemented, by the way, on 150, including tonight's totals. Signs of exchanged ends. Well, they're off Semenyuk. Challenge underway. Clearly out. It's a really good block there, and Gapet walking away. He'll take the adulation though of his teammates here. Eight eight. Really well angled there, the Frenchman. These things look so effortless at times. That was Smith again. Certainly. Not 
his game tonight for Zaxa. In between both Volvic and, and Gapet. What a hit, and what a serve from Semenyuk. Zaxa into double figures. Valentin Golubev on the stretch was helpless in the end. The previous Champions League winner with Novosibirsk. Clute on for Tonuti. Going straight back. Kazan had the chance to build up here. It was Mikhailov attacking it. And no surprise that he wins the point. Oh, that man possesses. A few others in the men's game. Slivka for Zaxa. Too long there from David Smith. Just leaves Kazam within touch. And Gapet's serve. Slipker again off that left hand side. And again. Pet was at the back. Mikhailov. Donuti. The Slivka. They persevered there, Zaxa, and got the reward in the end. Set Mikhailov set up for a grandstand finish here in Kenji Jinkosla. Snashevsky on for Volvic. That's a cheeky and friendly slap in the face from Ngapet. And he has a crucial say, um, serve here. And the timeout at the moment. Some trading points, as you can see. Second semi-final, by the way, gets underway in 13 minutes' time. Should just have enough time to see this one out here before that one begins.
It's a good serve. Tonuti. Back on Zax's side. They can craft their move. And catch Malek with the hit. and the passion there between Gerbic and his player Kashmirek two points away here's Axa but it is not done yet Mikhailov proving that the net touch Semenyuk Zemchinok on for Budko. Kind of with a great serve, and well, Zaxa got themselves in the right muddle there. what it means to Zenit Kazan, the players, the staff celebrating at the other end of the court. They're back on terms. one in an hour whether Alekno's side are going to come through this and there's been an epic tie between these two over the last couple of legs Mikhailov certainly had his say looking to give his side match point but no instead it is Zaxa you are now a point away from the final in Verona. This is match point on the night. It is tie point overall. Kohanovsky. Can't deliver an ace to seal it in style. And overall, Zaxa mess it up again. Left no feeling the heat. God, it should be so frustrated inside. But they'll have another chance. A sixth match point on the night. Time out. And back on, swiftly followed by Zaxa. They can't mess it up again, can they? It'll be Wukash Kashmarek to serve. Those who are in the venue here trying to get behind their side. They cannot let it slip. Surely this time.
Budko from Gapet. It's going to go as it knows the Torski over. Dramatic stuff. Mikhailov. This is the chance for Zaxa. Mikhailov has taken out a row of seats there. And it goes long. It's Zenit's point. Would you believe it? They are challenging it here. Players waiting to see the outcome. No touch. We are pack all square again. That was long, and it's Zenit's. Match point now. How volleyball games can swing. Right down on the line. And on this occasion, it's Zax's opportunity to deny them. The outstretched arm of Ngapet. Just good at volleyball. A talented man. Two talented teams. Who's going to get match point here? Ngapet will make sure Zenit do. He's to take it to a golden set. Golubev. Ngapet. What must he be thinking right now? Both sides over the course of this tie, both first and second leg, unable to finish off their opponent. Who is it going to cost more? Who can keep it together now? If Zaxa win this fifth set, they win the tie. If Kazam win it, we go to a golden set. And it's Mikhailov who gets another match point for his side. I have relief that the job is not done yet. Capet seeing the funny side of it all. Slivka. Tonuti Q. Slivka again. Back level. Go. And again, it's Zenit who edge themselves ahead. Oh, my calculations are fourth match point for them now. And 
this time it goes and Zenit Kazan have won this one by three sets to two it means we will go to a golden set here in Poland what a night it has been a match which has gone on for around two and a half hours so far still has life in it yet two victories one apiece in each leg both sides have won the away leg by three sets to two and now we go to a golden set to see who goes through to the super final in Verona
of the Champions League semi-finals. This tie between Zaksa and Zenit Kazan has gone to a golden set. Just as it did for Zaksa at the quarter-final stage. Only this time so much more at stake. Here we go. Who can keep their nerve now? First point for Kazan. We were hoping to make the long flight back to Tatarstan with a positive to take from this, knowing they're going to have to make another flight at the start of May to Italy. Service long. You see a shot of Bartos Bednos in the build up to this set, yeah, the golden set, sorry. Started the match, but I haven't seen much of him in the last few sets. He's just joining us, Kazan in the blue, as you can see here. The pets, part of everything good again for Zenit tonight. Heading back there for the home side, Semenyuk. Two in the early stages of this one. Of course, a shortened set, just like the tiebreaker fifth. That was Mikhailov. Tonuti back into Semenyuk. Zaks a point. Kochanowski. Mikhailov gets another. Straight through from Gapet without a crucial touch. <laughs> Two getting each other's way there. Zenit. And it's to Voronkov. He repositioned himself there, as I said, clashing with the Libero Golubev. Golubev's serve. Smith. The only non European in this Saxa side. The only non European in the entire duo of squads, in fact. Newty hasn't got one over on his old side yet. Good serve. 
Budko, it has to go over there. He comes back and out. Zaxa with a two point lead. to be enough for them and halfway through this goal and set and Zaxa just pulling ahead at the moment timeout called by Lekno Saxa 7-4 up in this golden set. It's the tape. Another point for the Poles. This is slipping now from Zenit Kazan. The sides will swap ends. but he's thinking too much Vladimir Lechna man who gives little away Nikola Gorbic uh, a little bit more elaborate with his emotions and feelings on the sideline they not watching on 8-4, Zaxa Lee. They are seven points away from the final now. They had ten match points between them in the first part of this evening, if you like, in the second leg. Six of them that Zaxa failed to take. Side there for Slivka, who wins the point. He's been key tonight. It's actually the four point lead. Voronkov. Golubev, Voronkov again. And hit Buk on the shoulder or the side of the face there. And that one beyond the reach. Five-year-old again. And this time the serve is out. Zaxa within five of the final. Gapet, good block there. Catch Malek and Kofanov. 
Oh, and obviously, sorry. Kazan getting another one back. Shevsky on for Volvic. This is Zenit Kazan serve. Tonuti, Slivka. That's another step in the right direction. against the antenna there and got his body perfectly just in Gapet's frustration wow massive there from Vodonkov Watches on from both sides. Saxa maintain a three point lead. Now up to four. Have they done the hard work already here? Kachmanek once again on the score sheet. Kailov, keeping his side well and truly in this. We've seen a number of leads fall across the two legs in this tie. Nadine and Gapet serve. Once again, a tester. Oh, and that block was absolutely terrific. Artem Volvic going up there. Time out. the tie, the contest that keeps on giving here. That was an easy block there for Volvic. So, so easy. Again, barely had to get off the ground. Those long arms stretching so high. Pet. Trying to hammer it over but only succeeds into hammering it into the net. Zach's a two from victory. And one of Alekno's stars letting him down there at a crucial time. I think Zach's wants to make a change, but we're going to have a timeout.
Now they can make the switch. Thirteen eleven here to Zaxa. Mikhailov bringing it back another one. Zemchinov coming on here for Volvic. It's been exhausting. We've been going for a long, long time now, nearly three hours. And that has given Zaxa the chance to wrap it up. Zemchaluk departs. Set point, golden set point, tie point, a chance to secure their place in Verona. Semenyuk serve into Ngapet. And again, it's Veronkov. Zaxa missed their chance. It's been a night of missed chances. Down off Smith. Another timeout. Still, Zaksa have a chance here. And Mikhailov's on serve for Zenit Kazan. The serve was good at least. But back it comes, and this time surely for Zaksa. They have done it at long, long last. They've been through the mill over the course of these two legs and in this golden set. But for the first time in the club's history, they will go through to the Champions League final. Nikola Gerbic is the man to have guided them there. And they knock out the might of Zenit Kazan in the process. The laughter, the smiles, the delight is there for everyone to see. And the opposite end of the spectrum for the Russian side, Kazan. They will play either Trentina or Perugia in Verona on the 1st of May. And they go through in a golden set once again. Here's the winning point. Slivka's hit off Golubev. And the ball went away. And the tie went away for Zenit Kazan as Zaxa's progression in the competition is secured and their participation continues. What a time to be a Zaxa fan. Four previous semi-finals have been and gone without success. But at the fifth time of asking, Gerbrich's side go through as he beats his old coach. The two men with a lot of respect for one another. But it is the Polish side who go through to the Champions League final. As they look to become the first Polish side to win the competition. Ingepets and co-beaten.
they all have to lick their wounds as they try and focus on the league for the rest of the season. But Zaxa's European competition goes on. They lost the second leg here tonight 3-2. They won the golden set to advance to the super finals in Verona. Here's the confirmation. 15-13 they take it in an 18-minute golden set. What drama here in the Champions League. This is why we love it. Congratulations to Grupa Azotti, Kejic and Kozla. They're through to the final.